drawing question coming up for marker uh, the question asks for uh, you to design a stand for a mobile phone and then on the isometric grid below to produce a drawing of that design idea now this is more a test of your drawing your ability to communicate and to understand what isometric grid paper and how it works um, than your designing itself so let so don't overcomplicate your design for a mobile phone keep that relatively simple um, and so you've probably seen something like this before but on the these are three possible um, mobile phone stands made from i would have thought acrylic that's been laser cut and then a strip heater to bend them in various shapes or slotted together for the bottom one and the idea is that those side views will then be uh, i'll then transfer those one of those across onto the grid paper onto the isometric grid and develop the design from there uh, so as you can see they're very simple designs so we'll start we'll probably use the middle one and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to draw that line on the bottom and i'll start from down here and i'm basically going to move along one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go six along. And we'll probably go a little bit taller as we go vertically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I've got those two lines. Now it gets a little bit trickier when I do this diagonal because this isn't going to follow the grid lines necessarily. But if I think about um, going along and then down to find that point, then I can draw the diagonal. And that's basically what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to move along four. To there and then down perhaps five let's go six and then i get a point at which i can draw my diagonal so this line here will not follow any of the grid lines um, but it's still going to be the mobile phone holder and then to produce that little lip at the front i'll probably provide a little bit of space first horizontal section um, and then a little vertical section to go up like so so that's the side view a piece of acrylic that's been bent now i need to continue the drawing to make it a three-dimensional drawing so i'm going to make it a little bit wider by so i'll start at the front again and let's make it four let's make it five wide and i'm just going to continue that that line effectively i'm going to replicate up here so this also becomes five that's five and this one will be up here it can be five as well okay um and there's one more five actually and that's down here and it's a bit trickier because it's hidden so if i count along from this point here one two three four five this point here is the bottom of my diagonal so it's really important to find that point there and then i can put my vertical lines in now there are some lines that are going to be hidden behind the acrylic so this back line i'm going to stop when i get to that point and there's a fold back here that also stops when it goes through and that's basically my design i'm going to add a little bit of thickness i'm not sure this is this is necessary but i'm basically going to draw a line that comes down i do apologize for the wobbling it's uh, not quite the same as drawing on paper when you're drawing on a screen but this this extra bit of thickness of the acrylic will help hugely to, to make it look more like a bit trickier at the top and you can see how that just makes it a little bit thicker that th extra thickness there and there's one more that i can do which is basically to follow that one along the top there and there we go an isometric drawing of a very simple mobile phone holder there's one line missing i've just seen just down there, that little extra fold where the mobile phone would slot in.